Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Midwest Futures by Phil Christman. So this book is a book of several different essays. They're organized into these like rows and they're about life in the Midwest United States. So for those of you not familiar with the geography of the United States, the Midwest consists of this kind of like weird region that's kind of, it's like this area, I don't know if you can see of the United States. It kind of contains the states of like Minnesota, Wisconsin, North and South Dakota, Iowa, Nebraska, Michigan, uh, Illinois, Indiana. There's some controversy about which states count and which states do not count. The feeder just went off for the cats, so they're all running. Um, but it's this kind of general area of the United States that kind of has a feel or a culture. It's a very loose description of this area of the United States. So I was interested in hearing about what Phil Christman has to say about it. I personally am from the Midwest of the United States and I really do enjoy living here. So I'm not an unbiased reviewer of this book, but I also am not someone who's totally unfamiliar with the subject. So the first thing I wanted to know is whether or not Phil Christman was from the Midwest because I feel like if you're gonna write something about the Midwest and you might take some critical stances, which he does in some of the stuff in this book, then I at least want to know, are you from the Midwest? Have you ever lived in the Midwest? Are you writing about this from an outside perspective? Just to know where you stand on like the issue. I feel like that's for any topic. If you're writing about the current political climate in a different country, I want to know if you've ever lived there or if you're writing purely from an outside perspective, just to know where the author stands. He is from the state of Michigan. Um, he currently works in Michigan. He works in a town called Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is a university town. It has the University of Michigan associated with it, and that is where he works. Um, but he grew up in uh, another town in Michigan, a smaller town in Michigan. So he is from the Midwest area, so he's writing from someone who has lived there. So that is important to note. Um, I think I do not like going on and bashing people or authors or books um, when a book is not my cup of tea. There were parts of this book that I did like, there are parts that I didn't like, but I think I'm going to just kind of stick to a very positive tone for this book. Um, and yeah, I just want to kind of focus on the things I like or the things that I think people who read this book would want to know. So the first thing I want to point out is that I think this would be a great book club book, which I almost want to do a video of books that I think would be a great book club book, because I feel like this book invites a lot of discussion. There's a lot of things that I wanted to talk to someone about when reading this book. I wanted to call someone up and be like, what do you think about this passage? What do you think about this statement? And I feel like that would be very, very interesting to do in a book club. So I feel like that's something that is very, it lends itself to like the book club aspect a lot. And I really would recommend this for a book club for that reason. Book club books lend themselves to discussions, lend themselves to bouncing ideas off one another. And I feel like the author, isn't trying to do like give a factual description of the Midwest. He's also talking a lot about his opinions or his experiences in the mes Midwest. And that's why I think it'd be very interesting to read this as a group, especially a group of people, maybe some who are from this area of the United States or some who aren't from this area of the United States, but also people who maybe, I don't, you don't even have to have lived in the United States to have comments or opinions on the things that he's talking about. So I feel like talking with other people is really the way to read through this book. And I read through it by myself. So there are aspects, there are points of, there are points during my reading of this book where I was like, this would be great to discuss with someone else. So that's the first thing I want to know. The second thing I want to know is I feel like, um, this book jumps topics a lot. So sometimes he's talking about the culture. Sometimes he's talking about the history. I like the thought the history part was very, very interesting. I feel like he could have written just a bunch of essays that solely focused on little like aspects of history. That would be really interesting. Um, so he does kind of move around from topic to topic quite a bit, which could be jarring for some people. That's why I think this would be maybe a great book club book, especially if you're with people who don't have a lot of time to read a huge book. They could read like the little essays because it is such a short book and there's like little small essays within it. They could read an essay and then have a discussion about the essay. I feel like that'd be a great way to structure the book club and then you can kind of keep the topics self-contained. So that was another thing that I noted in reading this book. The third thing I noted that I wanted to talk about is the humor and um, humor is always individual. What some people find funny, some people hate. I love Terry Pratchett. My, I have one sister who doesn't understand the humor at all and thinks it's an awful read. So, and I have an aunt who thinks that too, but I have another sister who thinks it's absolutely the funniest stuff that she's ever read, which is 
how I feel. So humor is very subjective. It has to resonate with you. But I found his humor style resonating with me when he had kind of like a, a funny quip or a comment. And I don't think this book was intentionally supposed to be funny. So there wasn't a whole lot of it. But the, the points where we did get that humor, I really, really liked it. And I feel like that's a strong part or strength of the author. So that was just something to know. Um, if you've read this book, let me know what you think about the humor because that's the part that I wound up enjoying a lot and I think that the author did a really good job at. Um, so overall, I'd probably give this a three star. I just really wish I'd read it with someone else to discuss. I feel like that's really the way to read this book. So that's the way I recommend reading it if you choose to read this book. If you've read this book, please let me know what you think about it. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this review and I hope you have a great rest of your day.